Good morning, everybody. Um, it's 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Um, I know some people are going to be getting on and viewing, so I'm going to give everybody a few minutes and bear with me because I haven't done a live video in my office in forever. So I'm still trying to get my camera angle right and get everything else situated. Also, please don't mind any barking or growling you might hear. Um, we got a new puppy. Hold on. We got a new puppy uh, last week, and he is still learning. So he um, <laughs> he's never been in my office before. So this is a completely new area for him. Um, but I see a couple people have already joined. So I, like I said, I'm just going to give everybody a few minutes to jump on. Um, I'm going to get the, uh, the PowerPoint situated here. Um, but while we're waiting... Um, why don't you tell me, tell me something you absolutely love about being in the travel industry. I want to know. Let's hear them. And I just got asked if I was going to be doing this in the event page or if I was going to be doing it in the um, the group page. And I'm actually going to copy the live video right now and I'm going to post it in the group. Um, I'm going to copy the event page and I'm going to make sure that the group knows. So in that way we can get a few more people in here. Like I said, I'm just going to keep waiting a couple more minutes. I want to get as many people on as possible. I know a lot of you want to be able to view and to see some of these marketing ideas. Now, I will say that, um, you know, this is all stuff that I've just, I've picked up and that I've learned from, from my host agency and from the travel agents that I work with, um, in, in the travel industry. So I'm still waiting. I want to see some of those comments. Tell me what you love about being in the travel industry. What is your favorite part about booking travel for other people? What is your favorite part about, you know, being a travel agent or being a travel owner or um, a specialist in something? I want to hear it. That is my dog being a pain. Legacy. Sorry, like I said, we have three dogs now, so it is a little hectic here at my house. Um, especially today, my husband isn't here, so I am trying to do this by myself. Oh, I see some comments came in. Let me, uh, let me view them. Learning and discovering new destinations. That is awesome. And hello, um, hello everybody. I see you guys are, are saying hi. And yes, learning and, and seeing new destinations. Um, I love, and I will tell you, I love, absolutely love um, doing different stuff. Um, sorry, my dog does not play very well. And um, it doesn't... Uh, it doesn't it doesn't go well sometimes here so all right so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to move the camera so then that way you guys can see my presentation and for those of you wondering i will have the presentation um i will have the presentation for you guys afterwards if you want to have it and just you know whatever um so give me one minute don't you want that that'll kill me um, so if you guys do want to view this afterwards, I'm just going to go ahead and start and people can jump in as they please. So I'm going to turn the camera around and as you can see, I have my marketing 101. Um, you know, I, I say marketing 101, but really it's just, it's, it's a lot of social media stuff. Um, and I did all this through my 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 travel page so everything you're gonna see is gonna have M and J travels on it um, because that's how I did everything 
give me one second. The dog is eating the, um, give me one second. My dog is eating a controller. All right, now that we are done eating. All right, so we're going to start with Facebook business page. How many of you have a Facebook business page? I'm sure most of you should um, or do. Facebook is probably the best way to promote your business. Um, they say that websites are great, um, but the thing about, the thing about websites is not many people go to them as much anymore. A lot of people are on Facebook, so they use Facebook all the time. They're constantly with family, with friends, all on Facebook. So your your page is just like your, your website. Um, one of the best things, hold on, okay. One of the best things about your Facebook page is it's right there for everybody. And it's got so much information like, your inbox and your notifications and you can do promotions and you can see everything from there you can give you can have different admins for your page um say you have a uh virtual assistant or an assistant and you want to give them access to specific things they can be a moderator of the page they can be an admin it, it all depends on you but see this stuff over here post offers group join our list etc that's important because those are the things that people are going to click on the most. Another thing that's really important in a live, it's, it's been hard for get, to get people to realize, the send a message button. Send a message or call whatever one you think would be best for your, your travel agency. Um, for us, it's sending a message. I work a full-time job every day. I can't constantly be on the phone. I mean, my boss would probably let me, but I don't want to constantly be on the phone trying to book travel. So I tell people to message me, and I will message them back as fast as I can. Um, reviews. That's something that I wanted to mention. If Anytime you book a cruise or a land vacation or a hotel or anything for a client, have them re review you on Facebook. Because that review right there is probably one of the best tools that people are going to notice. Oh, this person has five star reviews. Oh, great. Well, you know, let's, let's, let's check them out. So this is a little bit more labor intensive. Your logo, get a logo designed for you. My logo was actually created by my boss, um, of my, my day job. He created my logo specifically for me and I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see it. Um, he he did it customized to my husband and I and because we both run a page and that's something that I absolutely love that he did um underneath of it underneath the name you get an at and then you can customize it customize that as soon as you possibly can the reason why is because it's going to make a whole bunch of people it's going to make it a whole lot easier to tag you um if somebody is trying to promote you, they can easily tag your business by using that. Um, these here, they can all be rearranged. Uh, you can put them in any order you want. I don't have them in any specific order at the moment. I just have them in just a random order. But those are something that you might enjoy. Um, you may want your about, about us first. Um, you know, you may want them to join your list first. It it all depends or to see your offers first if you give any. Over here, a good eye catcher banner. So something something I will tell everybody, you travel all the time. You're your travel agent. One of the best things to do in turn when when you travel is to use your pictures. This picture is not mine. I I will definitely say it is not mine. I got it offline. If you don't want to use your own pictures or you don't like your own pictures, there's a few websites you can go to like pexels.com um, and they'll give you basically stock images for free. And you can download them and you can customize them. I did the banner by myself. It's really easy to do in, you can do it in Paint, you can do it in Adobe, uh, you can even do it on your phone with one of your apps. Um, I like it because if you have a good eye-catching banner, with your contact information on it, you can use that on your own Facebook page as well as your business. 
you can use it in your group and we'll get to group soon um but your page you needed to you need to design this page like you're designing a website this is your website consider this your social media website if you have a website, great. I have a website, but I don't push people to go to it. I push people to go to our Facebook page because that's where they will be able to do more. They'll be able to see reviews. They'll be able to comment. They'll be able to view all of our pictures if they want to. And most people are already on Facebook and that's what you want. So, oh, I think I went too far. So again, like I said, your page is important. It's just like your website. When posted on the page, remember that it's public. Um, you need post different stuff. So here's a trick that I learned. Um, Travel Pulse, um, you know, Walt Disney World, places like that, like their pages. Like their pages from your page and from your personal page. And your business page. And the reason why is because you can set them to view first on your newsfeed. And the coolest thing about that is say Travel Pulse. We're just going to use them as an example. They post an article about the five best things to visit while you're in Hawaii. You can click on that link and you can share it to your business page. So then this way you're seeing something that somebody else is posting right away. It's a, you know, a travel travel website, there's Travel Weekly, there's Travel Magazine, um, anything. See what they're posting, review the article that they post, share it to your business page. You are giving your customers more and your clients more to view than just, hey, book this vacation or hey, here's a trip from our vacation. You want them to see other important things too. During hurricane season is the perfect time to be posting a whole bunch of stuff about hurricanes. Information that people need to know. Um, travel insurance information. Passport information, etc. Um, so, you want to share... Okay, sorry. You want to share this stuff with your clients. It's not just for you to view. You want to see... Hello. You want to see as, as much stuff as possible. You want your clients to see as much stuff as possible. They say the best thing to do is to post three, two or three, maybe four times a day. The reason for that is, and you don't want to post a cruise or, hey, book this with us or, hey, do this with us or, or hey, book this or, you know, you want to post different information because people are going to want to read articles. People like to view things, videos, if you find a video on YouTube, share it to your page. Most people prefer videos over reading, and that's great. Um, when we do, here's an example, when we do ship tours, my husband films and I take pictures. I come home and I take all of the film that he, he recorded and I put it into one long video, or I separate it into two depending on how long they are. I post them on our, our business YouTube channel, and then I share it. And it's something great for your clients to see, something great for other travel agents to use if they want to. It's it's a great, great marketing tool. Don't, don't be afraid to use Facebook, or not Facebook, YouTube. YouTube is amazing. Um, Facebook groups. <laughs> this is actually just... Basically, it was just introduced to me um, some time ago, a few months ago. A Facebook group. How many of you actually have a Facebook group for your business? Anybody? We have a Facebook group. Facebook has started a new thing where they don't want to show as many pages as they used to. Which kind of sucks for, um, okay, so a few of you do. A few of you have pages, or uh, groups. Several groups. See? Groups are awesome because people can join the group. They can post freely. They know that it's not going to be posted 
you know, that you, it, they're not going to know that you're going to miss it or anything like that. Um, make it personal. In my group, I post, I post discounts and specials before I post them on my page. And I do that because I make it personal for the people that are in my group. Um, you can, you can contact directly with them. It makes it so much easier for, for your clients to talk to each other. You know, you could have one client going, Hey, I want to go to Disney, but I've never been, or, Hey, I want to take a cruise, but I've never been. Anybody have any suggestions? And sometimes your members of the group can get back to them before you can and give them some ideas and then they can come to you and go, okay, well, this is what I think would be a great idea. How's that? Better? Oh. Can't make it larger, um, but I can zoom in if you want to see specific things. Just let me know. Um, as you can see, I'm still on my, my Facebook page. You can connect your group. So, groups by this page. I connected my group. I linked it to specifically my page. And then this one, when people view my page, they can also view my group. And it's on the side here. That lovely sidebar that we talked about earlier. It is on the side. So they can click on your groups and they can view it. So you can, um, one thing that I do for my, um, for my clients is I get their birthdays and anniversaries. And I write them all down in a spreadsheet. And then what I do is on their birthdays, I'll post a happy birthday message in a group because it's more personal. And other people can see that it's their birthday and wish them happy birthday. And it's just a nice little extra to have. Um, doing this... Do, connecting it to your page is, is really easy. You just go to your groups under page. You want to link your group and you're just going to put it in. So, um, and if anybody needs an actual video on that, I do have one on my YouTube channel. I can post a link for you guys. I did it for some other travel agents. I posted a link for um, how to link your page to your group. And then this way you don't have any issues with you know, having to share them both. You can share one thing, you can share your page, and your group is there automatically for people to view. The only downside is when you post in your group, it's going to post as your travel agency. Um, I mean, you can switch it, but just watch that when you're, um, when you're posting. Okay, so this is something that I really, really like. It's called Lycalizer. I don't know if many of you have heard of it, but it's one of my favorite tools. I use it for my travel agency, and I also use it for the company that I work for. Um, give me one, one second. Sorry, I had to take away the controller. Um, so all you have to do is go to likealizer.com, and you're going to log in. So up at the top, you can see that I'm, I'm logged in as me, and these are my pages. I have a few different pages, but as you can see, my travel agency is number one. And it's a 79%. It's in the green. So, like Elizer, it, it tells you, it, it gives you a breakdown of a lot of information. It tells you how much of your, your Facebook page is complete. It tells you if it's doing good against other people. It gives you a breakdown on any, everything that you might need to know for your Facebook page to make it better. Um... It tells you if you need a mission. It tells you if you need um, milestones, events, anything. Attend events, create events through your page. And doing all this through your page is going to help you. Doing all this stuff through your page is, is really going to help you. And using this tool is just going to show you what you're doing right and what you're doing wrong. Um, I think on the next page I might actually have, okay. So here's an example of a few different things. When you're on Lycalizer, if it says excellent, you don't need to make any changes. It basically means that section is complete and it looks good and you're really giving your business to go, the good and go. Good, you could have more information 
Um, what you have is okay, but there's always room for an improvement. Even on excellent, you can always, you know, do something else. But with good, you could you can improve that to be excellent. Okay means you need to work on it. You need to add some more content there. You know, you could have okay under um, milestones, and your milestones could just be random stuff. Um, it could be doing completing training through a company. So, for example, if you completed, say, Royal Caribbean training, you can put that on there. Master, you know, master's completed for Royal Caribbean. That's a milestone. You know, another milestone could be when you started your travel agency. Another milestone could be when you first booked your first cruise or first booked your first land vacation or your first flight or whatever. All those milestones are going to add up and they're really going to help. Bad means you need to work on it. You need to add something there. Um, you probably don't have anything. Uh, for example, the company that I work for, um, we had, we had bad on our events because we didn't have any events that we were attending. So all I did was add one event and I automatically took it from bad to good. So those are just things. So like, as you can see, here's another example. The about us on ours, we're at 84%. We could be doing better obviously, but we're still in the green. Our contact information, excellent. It's, um, here, let me go back. L-I-K-E-A-L-Y-Z-E-R.com. So, likealizer.com. And this is a tool that you're going to want to use. Um, it's free. That's one thing I love about it is it's free. And if you have other pages on your Facebook, so like I have um, an editing service and I have a marketing um, that I'm going to be starting to do for uh, authors. And then I am an author, so I have my author page as well that I don't do too much on. But my main focus is here, my travel agency. Um, but I can also type this in the comments for you guys if you want um Hold on one second. I'm trying to do this off of two different cell phones. So just give me one second. Alright. There you go. I posted a um I posted it on um the comments for everybody to view. So going back to here. So as you can see, my milestones, I have four. So we're we're good. Obviously, we're going to have more, especially when we, you know, go through more training or do more things. Our location, it's just a check mark. Now, here's some stuff with the bad. Um, and I made sure that I, I could get this. And I can't remember if I got it off of here or off of, um, off of my business, um, my actual job. Engagement rate, 2.3. Bad. Okay, well, we need to work on that. You know, people talking about this. It's okay. It could be better. You know, and it gives you it gives you a number. It tells you how many people have checked into your, your business, which is also another great tool if you have, you know, if you tell people to check in and things like that. So, overall, Likealizer, it's really a great tool to use, especially if you want to analyze your page more. Um, and obviously, you know, if you need more direction and more help with that, we can always do a, a live video of just stuff on Likealizer. Um, but it's pretty straightforward. You just want to add your page and give it some time to, to, you know, go through and to scan everything. So, um, let's talk about building a business real fast. When you start out as a travel agent and you're starting a business, you are your business owner. Um... Basically, being a business owner means, you know, that, that, that's your business. You, you got to, I'm not going to say you have to be professional 24-7, but you should be professional 24-7. Um, you know, you're selling yourself as a travel agent. You're selling 
if, if somebody came in and took your business name away from you, they're not taking you away from the travel agency. They're taking, you know, you're still a travel agent. You're still the person who does all the work. You're still the face of your company. You are still it. Um, so remember when you're posting on your personal pages, just to kind of, um, be considerate about that, you know, make sure people still know that, that you're a travel agent. Don't overkill your, your friends and family on Facebook with posts. Um, share important ones. Like for example, my husband and I are, are doing a veterans cruise next year and when there's sales, I'll post it on our business, on our Facebook pages as well, but I'm not going to overkill everybody because that's what my business page is for. My business page is to post everything on there. Um, you know, you you need to never stop marketing yourself. Never stop marketing. I, I can't tell you um, how many times we, we go places and we just, we market. Um, we went the Sprint to, mm -hmm. to talk about cell phones. And literally, we were talking and we mentioned that we are a travel agent. And guess what? They were like, oh, well, great. You know, we're looking for this. Give them your card. When you go out to a restaurant at night, leave your card along with your tip and stuff. What is it going to hurt? They're going to, worst they can do is throw it away. Um, and, and honestly, I mean, that, that, that's your business. You know, you, you really want to, you want to always promote yourself no matter where you are. Um, so I'm going to switch back because we are going to go over paid promotions and I don't know how many of you do this on Facebook I've done a few obviously um paid promotions aren't bad but I will say that they don't do a ton and the reason for that is because so here's an example of some of my paid promotions um we'll go with the first one I I boosted my post that's what they call it they call it a boosting post it reached 138 people with 60 post engagements, and I only spent $5 on it. Now, I run I run smaller ads, like $5 and stuff like that, just to see how it will do. Now, as you can see, the bottom one got a reach of 1,500 people. You know, I didn't get any messages from it on there, but some of my messages came to my personal page, or some of my messages, you know, came in comments and things like that, and I spent $10 on it. I'm not going to say don't do paid promotions, but I'm not going to say deal with them either because sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. It just depends. Um, you know, you need to decide where you want to spend your money and some people pr prefer to do these all the time. Some people don't. Um, I like them for some stuff, but for other things, I prefer to just do free promote for free promotions. Yes, they're a one-time charge. So what you'll do is um, on the on the back side of Facebook, you'll see um, basically the $5, it's it's just for that post. And it goes for, it's like a dollar a day is the minimum you can do. So I ran, I ran these for, for, actually I ran all these for $5 or for five days. So these two ran for $2 per day and these ran for $1 per day. And they'll charge you like, by by reach until you get to your max budget which you set it so I set my match max budget at five dollars once you hit five dollars the promotion will end so um, and it tells you it'll tell you on Facebook like what you reach and things like that um, and if you want after I go through the rest of these slides I can actually show you from from my Facebook um, some of the some of the stuff if you guys want me to just kind of touch on a few things um, but non-paid promotions. These are my favorite. They are always my favorite. Free. Who likes free? I like free. I like, I like doing free promotions because that's the best kind, especially if we get to something. Um, I'm sure most of you do, do anything with suppliers, you know, Order collateral from your suppliers. Order a Royal Caribbean or Norwegian or Hard Rock Hotels. Order some of their brochures. Go to Walmart. Get one of these. Just get, you know, get a get a box of return address labels. And they're small. Put your name on it. Your email address, phone number, whatever you want. 
and stick it on the, the brochures. Take your brochures to doctor's offices in town or to um, dealerships. Hold on one second. I'm going to just turn the camera. Um, he's about to eat my... why nobody's allowed in my office okay sorry I didn't like watching on the um put the stickers on I'm taking to your dealerships my husband and I put stickers on a whole bunch of cruise books and we took them to every dealership in our in, in our in our town we took them to at least what five or six dealerships and the point of this the point, the point of doing this is because when people are waiting for their car to get done or they're waiting to see the doctor or a nurse or somebody, all those magazines are sitting right there. And if you see one with a cruise ship on it, I mean, that's, that's pretty good. So, all right, you know what? Hold on one second. I'm just going to fix this problem. Go. Okay, there. Problem solved. No more dogs in the office. Okay, sorry about that. Um, how many of you are in yard sale groups on Facebook? So, like, um, we live in Winter Haven, so we have, like, Winter Haven Buy, Sell, and Trade, or Winter Haven Yard Sale. Are any of you part of any of those type of groups? Here's something, if you if you are a part of them, or if you're not, if you're not joining them, if you are great, post something like this in those groups with four pictures, three or four pictures. You don't want to do too many, you don't want to do too little. Those groups are awesome. I post basically go on a cruise. This was during Norwegian's dollar deposit sale. Make a payment up to final pay. Visit my, and you can do pager group. I did my group. I promoted my group because I wanted more people to join my group. And I linked my group into there. And I must have gotten, I don't know, six or seven just from a few different yard sale groups. It's free promoting, for one. And two, it's it's a way for people in your town to see that you are a travel agent. Whether they want to join your group or not, they at least can see that you're a travel agent. So, it's it's a great tool to use. And, and I'm not going to say post in there all the time. I would say do it every other month. Maybe every three months. Um... You don't want to do it too much because if you do it too much, then people aren't going to really, they're just going to see it and it's going to be one of those things where, okay, I've seen this like six or seven times now. I don't care to like, you know, join a group. I'm just going to pass it by. But if you post it every once in a while, they're going to go, oh, well, where was that group at? You know, oh, I forgot about joining this the last time when we join it now or something. So you don't want to overkill them. It's, it's just a great tool to use. So brochures. Write this down. Brochures. Order the collateral if you don't already have some. Actually, I'm going to show you something. Okay. This this is my office. This is what my office closet looks like. Now, we are just getting started with our collateral. We have Disney, Hard Rock, Royal Caribbean, Celebrity. Carnival is somewhere around here. Carnival, Atlantis. We have tons and tons of stuff. That is something that is so important. And my office is now a disaster because my dogs destroyed it. Um, it's keep it here. Um, attend vendor fairs. You know, some vendor fairs cost like twenty five dollars to go the, go to. Thirty bucks. Go sit down. Share your stuff. Instagram. Who uses Instagram here? I do. Um, I do kind of. I don't use it as much as I probably should. But Instagram is amazing for photos and hashtags. 
photos and hashtags are like Instagram's basically mothership. Yes, it is being recorded. So this this is this is a live video, and you'll be able to view this afterwards. And also my um, this whole presentation I'm going to post for everybody, as well as another document that I have that I think would benefit everybody if. And we'll talk about it at the end. Um, but one thing about Instagram promotions that I wanted to cover is when you boost a post. So say you boost a post on Facebook that's a picture of a cruise ship or of a resort that you visited. And you boost it. And if you have your Instagram connected to your business page, it will it'll boost it to Instagram as well. So when you're viewing Instagram and you see those those promotions, um, those, um, uh, when those sponsored ads, those sponsored ads are basically going to be what your, your boosted post is gonna show up as on Instagram, which is great. So for example, here I'm on um, a friend of mine's Facebook or Instagram. Um, this is a sponsored ad. This is what your boosted post is going to show up as on, um, from your Facebook, which is great. It's, it's amazing. It's, it's a great tool to have. So you just have to click this little button, run promotion on Instagram, and it'll automatically run it for you. And it's a great tool, especially if you want to use those boosted posts through Facebook. It's something really awesome to do and it might get you some more views. So, as we're talking about Instagram, hi, Instagram. <laughs> so, for those of you who don't use Instagram, you should probably get one just for photos. Um, hashtags are probably one of the biggest things now, you know. Um, I remember calling into a conference line and they're like, press hash or pound. And I'm like, why would they even say? And then I realized that everybody considers it a hashtag. Um, this is this is my page. So we, we don't have a lot on here because like I said, I don't really do too much on Instagram. But that's because I don't, I don't remember to. Um, but as you can see, I have a few photos. And basically... All that you want to do with Instagram is, um, whoops, sorry. All you want to do with Instagram is post your photos. Um, you can change the filters on them. Uh, let's see if I can bring up my Instagram real fast on my other phone. And then that way I can kind of, kind of show you guys a little bit. So. Let me find a, uh, here, we'll use this. So, we have this photo on Instagram. Okay. And we want to click next. And then what you can do is you can actually change it. So you can change the color in a little bit to make it brighter. You can make it a grayscale. Um, the ones I found that actually are the coolest ones to use are, are this one because it really brightens it up. And this one isn't bad. But you, what you want to do is you kind of want to brighten it up a little bit, especially if it's a photo that needs to be brightened up um, for your, your clients. You click next, and then you get to share it. So when you type in your message, you can type in a hashtag, um, and I'm not going to type one in. But one thing, let me go down. one thing you can do is you can share it to your Facebook page. And by doing that, sorry, I'm getting tons of messages. By sharing it to your Facebook page, you're basically promoting on on Facebook and on Instagram at the same time. And if you have Twitter, you can post it on Twitter too. I definitely don't use Twitter for my travel agency. I don't find that Twitter benefits me in any way um, for my travel agency. Uh, if you have another business, like if you're an author or you're an artist, then that's a different story. But if you haven't used Instagram, I would suggest taking a look at it. I know it can be kind of daunting to go into a new... Um, a new program to try to use it but it's a great tool especially if you're on a ship tour or you're on a site inspection um those are great those are amazing you know take a picture post it on instagram keep going take a picture post it on instagram keep going share it to your facebook 
Um, it's just a great tool. So, um, another, another great thing to do is engage your viewers. So when you, when you post on Facebook, for example, I posted this on February 17th. I posted the MS MSCC side, which is their new ship. And I ask a question. So I'm trying to engage my viewers to, to chat, you know? So as you can see, I shared it from somebody else, which you're, you're allowed to do. You're, you're giving them full credit for it. It's right there. But I asked them a question. I'm trying to engage my viewers. Post, post a picture and say, caption this. You know, you want to get them involved. Get them talking. Get them finding out. Find out what they like. Um, in my group, I just posted, uh, and I asked everybody, where are you going? Are you going on vacation this year? Are you going on vacation next year? Do you have anything booked? Have you been thinking about booking anything? Even if I already know that they have something booked, I'm still asking them so they can post it so other people can see, oh, hey, they have a couple cruises booked. Maybe we should go or something to that general vicinity. So... You always want to engage your viewers. Um, you just you you want to get people people interested. Um, here is a something that I uh, I thought might benefit everybody. So this is in um, a PDF format. It's it's marketing strategies for travel agents, and there's there's quite a bit of them. There's three hundred of them, over three hundred. We're just gonna scroll down a little bit. I don't know if any of you even have this. Um, this was posted in a um, one of my other groups. Um, let's see. There was one I thought was kind of cool. Um, I, I wrote down a, a lot of them, but there were some that were pretty good. Here we go. Number eight. I gave out bottled water to drivers on their way home from a downtown event. I have Vistaprint labels. So you can go, you can get Vistaprint labels, or you can go to Walmart and get these lovely labels again. Um, and you can do something like this, print them out, stick them on the bottles of water. You know, you can get a case of water for four bucks, and that's 24 cases of, you know, 24 bottles of water that you're handing out with your information on it. Um, and they wore their agency t-shirt. And they handed out bottles of water to construction workers and people, you know, running events and things like that. That's a great idea. It'll cost you what? Maybe, maybe 10 or 15 bucks to, for, the, for the labels and stuff. And if you already have an agency t-shirt, then you're already halfway there. So these things are great to promote yourself. Um, there was another one. When you go through the drive through tell the girl or guy at the window to pay for the car behind you. So if you are in a Starbucks line and, you know, you say, hey, um, what did the people behind me order? And they tell you, if you know, if they tell you. Well, here, just run it on my credit card and give them my business card instead when you give them their drinks. You're promoting yourself. You're, you're helping get your name out there. You're helping to get yourself out there. Um... There was one where it says, um, and I don't know how far down it was, um, but they got like a, um, a table tent and they went to a local coffee shop or the library and you put it down and you have something to drink and you work on your computer or do whatever you want to do. You're out of the house, you're working and you're promoting yourself. I will post this PDF for you guys, um. But I, I got it from, from travel agents, from other travel agents. But um, I will post it for you guys in the event page. I will post all the stuff in the event page. Yes, pay it forward. That's, that's exactly what it was. Um, but, you know, here it is. Go to a cafe or any place with Wi-Fi. Order lunch and work on one of the tables. Put a couple of table cards up that say the cruise, travel, sandals, whatever expert is in. You know, you get yourself out of the house. You get people viewing you a little bit. You know, there's there's always ways to to promote yourself. If you have a name badge, wear your name badge. You know, wear wear the name badge to the grocery store. You're you're promoting yourself. You're getting your name out there. 
So these are just some great, like I said, and there's, there's tons of them. Um, they're just some great tools for everybody to use. Um, and again, I will post this for everybody to have. But I just thought that stuff like that to me is is important for us travel agents to have. I understand, you know, some people think travel agents are working against each other. And I feel that they're all we're all working together, you know. We want to help other people book vacations. And our job is to to do that, you know. I, I post in other groups and go, hey, I have a cruise, you know, for veterans. If you have a veteran or if you have a family of a veteran or if you have um, a military retiree, if they were in the service for anything or if they had family in the service and, you know, they, um, for example, we know a, a Gold Star family. So, you know, they're always invited on our, our veterans cruises. You know, I post for other travel agents. If you have somebody in the military or you used to be in the military, here. Here's a cruise that we're going to do. Book them in the cruise. I don't care if you book them or if I book them. I just want to get, I want to help everybody. And and I know that's probably, probably a bad thing. Um, especially some people agree or, you know, people say that. But um, I, I want everybody to, to succeed as much as they can. And you only succeed as much as you put into it. If you don't put a lot of work into your business, you're not going to get a lot out of it. You know, if you put part-time work into it, you're going to get part-time results. If you put full-time work into it, you're going to get full-time results. It all depends on what you do. Um, mm -hmm. And no problem. Um, I'm, I'm so glad I was able to do this. This is something that, like I said, I, I work in marketing for my full-time job. So... I am, I'm constantly seeing the word marketing. I'm constantly looking up ideas for marketing. I'm constantly doing something in terms of marketing. I, I can't tell you how many things I've learned that may not apply to the company I work for full time, but it can totally apply to my, my travel agency or vice versa. You know, there's stuff that works for my travel agency that's not going to work at all for the company I work for. You know, we're a parts distributor. So you know, going to the store and talking about parks. I mean, I, I don't really want to do that. I like talking about vacations. Um, but yeah, en engage your viewers is, you know, just get, get your clients involved in, in what you do and, and always try to be professional. Um, you know, and I have no problems answering questions after this. If you guys have questions, you know, message me. I, I have no problems answering them. I can't guarantee that I'm going to get back to you within the first, you know, right away, especially if it's during the week because my project load at work is usually pretty, pretty tough, but I always have my Facebook on. I always have my phone with me. Um, I will always try to answer back as soon as I can. You know, if you ever saw me in the grocery store, you would, you would see, I, I'm just one of those People probably think that I play on my phone and play games all day because I'm constantly messaging people and talking to people. Um, but so, you know, if you have questions after this, let me know. You can message me. You can post it in the event. I'm going to keep the event up. You can post it in the big. Um, what are my feelings about creating groups? Um, I think I think creating groups is a great idea. I really do. I think I think having a group for your page is is fantastic. Um, and other groups as well. Uh, there is, let me see if I can find it. There is somebody I know who has, um, sorry, I just got a really weird message on Facebook about being good for the world or something. I don't know. Um, I know somebody who has different types of, of pages, you know, I know, I know a travel agent who has, a group for every new cruise ship for Carnival that comes out. And he is like the first one to jump on making that group. And the reason for that is because people are going to join that group. Whether they book with you or not, they're going to join that group. And they're going to constantly see that you're a travel agent. And here's something else that I kind of started to do um, that I think is kind of a cool idea. When you go on a cruise, and I, I don't know, I don't think this works too much for all-inclusive resorts, but... When you go on a cruise and you see all those cruise groups, like for example, I have a group for September on the Carnival Magic that I created as soon as I booked it. I, I created it before I booked it because I knew I was going to book it. I'm the admin of that page. 
everybody on the in that or I'm the admin of that group. Everybody in that group knows that I'm a travel agent. Everybody in that group knows that I do live videos. I do them once a month for them. I set up the meet and greet. I do um I post the ship tours. I post my videos in there. Everybody knows I'm a travel agent. I'm not constantly pushing myself, but I let them know, you know, well, hey, yeah, I booked this or, hey, I'm going to go do a ship tour on this. Well, you know, how'd you get that? Well, I'm a travel agent. That's how. And then they start to ask you questions. I know a lot of people have been asking me questions about certain things, you know, and well, hey, next time we book a cruise, can we book with you? Yeah, absolutely. Just let me know. Um, so those are, those are some pretty good groups too. So there's something to think about. Uh, you know, if you, if you cruise a lot, you know, create those groups. I already created one for our veterans cruise for next year, the Carnival Breeze, you know, um, I, I've already got that one situated. So groups are great for promoting. Groups are great for, for your business page. Um, you know, groups, groups can really help. Gotcha. See, and that's another thing. Um, depending on on how you how you do uh, how you do the names of your groups, um, you know, as you saw, our group was called Getaways by Emma J Travels. It's it's pretty straightforward. But like our Carnival Magic group, I have, you know, Carnival Magic and the date, and I have it done a specific way. So, um. But I mean, that's pretty much it. Like I said, I just, I kind of wanted to go over that with you guys. And I, I wanted to really, um, to give you guys some ideas on marketing. Um, you know, some people don't think about that. So it's, it's something good to kind of get some information. And I know we covered a lot. And like I said, presentation is going to be available. The PDF is going to be available. I'm available for questions and anything like that, either in the event or in our group, which is the, um, can't find it now. Travel agents who love to cruise, you can post in there. I'm a moderator there. I can definitely um, answer some questions. And if you're in Florida, come meet me. You know, we go to Disney. Mm -hmm. We have annual passes to Disney. We are doing ship tours. We are going on the Carnival Liberty at the end of April. We are doing the Carnival Paradise in March or in May. Um, I would love to do this again, you know, especially if you guys throw out some ideas of things that you guys want me to go over and make a video about, I will make a presentation or I will just wing it and get on Facebook and just, you know, go for it. So, you know, I'm always looking for information and, and things like that. I, I love doing stuff like this and, um, that's another thing real quick, live videos, do live videos when you're doing, um, site inspections and ship tours, your clients are going to want to see that do it in your group. Do it in your group or do it on your page and share it to your group. But do those live videos. Show people, show your clients or prospective clients that you are a friendly person. A, you know, you are the face of your business and show them what a cruise ship can look like. That's, um, I did a couple live videos in my Carnival Magic group when I was on the Magic because that's the ship we're going on. I wanted them to see some of it. So just something to think about. <laughs> Thank you. Um, not many people tell me that um, because I usually I'm I'm I don't like pictures. I don't like pictures of myself. I don't do camera stuff. So this is all kind of new to me, and I'm getting used to it. But um, my my dogs are are screaming, and I think I hear one of them with something outside, and I don't know what it is, and I'm afraid to go look. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna go take care of them. Again, if you guys have questions, let me know. Um, I'll post the the. Um, PowerPoint and I'll post the PDF um, yeah yeah live videos are great um, they are they, they, it's it's a pretty cool tool to use and I'm kind of glad that Facebook has it oh and Instagram has live videos as well so you can use that on on Instagram um, but I'm gonna go I'm gonna go deal with them and like I said I'll probably post up the the PowerPoint and the PDF give me about 15 minutes to clean up and to, you know, take care of the animals a little bit. And I'll make sure I get them up there for you guys to go over. Um, but other than that, you know, it was a great, I, we've been sitting here for an hour. I've been talking for an hour. So, <laughs> 
Um, it was a great hour and I'm really, really glad I was able to, to help out and to give some information to some of you guys. So, and I'm really glad that everybody was able to attend and this video will be available in the event page for you guys to view later. Um, I'm going to try to download it and post it on my YouTube as well. So, um, again, thank you and I'm really, really glad and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.